Hello, my name is Tony Lyle. I'm a CAM application engineer at ProLim. In this snack bite, I'm going to show some of the ways you can use templates inside of NX. Here, I'm just going to open up a new file and I'm going to model the application. I am going to switch over to the manufacturing application. Here, what you're probably used to seeing is your mill planer, mill contour cam setups, uh, hole making, and so forth. But you can also create your own templates inside here and use them as well. And that's what we're going to take a look at here. I've got a template for this snack bite that I've created. Let's look at this one. So you'll see that I've created a program name. I've just named it my template. I have a tool carrier that already has a set of tools. Uh, my methods, I've created some custom methods throughout here, and in the geometry view, I've customized this to have perhaps an MCS mill side one, work piece side one, and then I've created a setup for an, a side two in case I want to flip this part over inside of the same part file. Uh, I've also got a work piece side two that I could use if I wanted, and even a custom mill area that's a child of the work piece side two. Um, so we started this new file. I'm just going to quickly define our workpiece and our blank. I'll just use the bounding block and it's, I'll just give it two millimeters of stock around it. And what I also have here is just a list of three operations that I've already got tooling for uh, and speeds and feeds. So I can simply parallel generate this. I'm just going to parallel generate it so we can keep looking at some things while it's generating in the background. Um, but, you know, just using this for a part family, I know I'm going to have an adaptive milling operation first. I know I'm going to do a rest milling with a high feed mill second, and I'm going to do a rest milling with a ball mill third. I'm, you know, for example, I, I need to do that on all of these parts in that order every time so I can templatize that. Uh, while that's generating, we can look at some of the other ways to uh, to use templates uh, in the uh, creating a tool. Again, we have the type of, it's set to our template, snack bite template. And here we have, um, you can create your own tool and you can create your own carrier. So I have perhaps a DMG machine has a certain set of tools, a Mazak Vera Axis in this, in, this, in this instance, a Micron machine, a Grove and so forth. So I can select a carrier, and if I look at the tooling, I've got this carrier has all of these tools that are already set up and ready to go. Uh, let's look at the uh, operation creation here. Um, I have, you know, instead of using your milk mill planer and mill contour and hole making, you can combine them and you, you can put your the operations that you most commonly use inside of these. So, for example, I've got a lot of the mill planer operations here. I've got some, uh, some mill planers here, mill contour operations here. I've got some five axis operations throughout here. And I've got some hole making operations all inside of this one template that I've created. Uh, you can even in some in some ways create your own operations here so um, and defining them and uh, giving them descriptions of how to use the temp how to use the operation here and you can also use the template to define some of the defaults inside of your operations so in this case I'll look at the cavity mill I can change my default variables to whatever I'd like them to be inside of my template so they are automatically um, set to those defaults. Um, a big advantage is the non-cutting moves using using these templates to have your non-cutting moves already defined for you so you're not constantly changing those all the time. Okay so let's take a look at our operations. They're finished now. Um, here is the operation. I'm going to switch the background color here so we can see it a little easier. And here are our operations and what they've 
what they've done for us. So not selecting any, any geometry, just selecting the workpiece, defining the workpiece. Uh, we've, we've come up with the result of roughing this part out with very minimal effort using these templates. So there's our part roughed out completely. Now we can just go right into a semi finishing and then a finishing or directly to a finishing operation doing some holes and we're good to go there. I uh, thank you for watching this snack bite and please check out more Prelim snack bites and lunch bites on our YouTube channel.